Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. The course we are going to be taking a look at today is the Trossex GC DVD. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, which is designed by Picanto2014 who is certainly no stranger to being featured here on the channel. Um, I have been meaning to get this one done. I have. I did mention it last week, I have got a list of a few courses. Um, and uh, slowly but surely getting through them. So I've got another couple lined up for after this one. But a uh, brief uh, course description for this one so, uh, goes as follows. So the Trossachs is an area of natural beauty in central Scotland with mountains, glens, vast locks, and now a golf course. Welcome to the Trossachs GC DVD. The course takes in the beautiful surrounding scenery weaving its way through the pine trees. From the back tees, the course is 7,095 yards and from the front, 6,350 yards. Greens are fast and firm, so take care with the approach shots. Hope you enjoy. So uh, screenshots look absolutely great on this over here on TGC Tours. Um, and it was added there uh, 19th of June. So as you can see, it's roughly around about 300 plays. Definitely PlayStation wise. Anyway, um, we are going to be as per usual, keeping everything on default. So we are going to have a normal fairways, firm greens and fast green speed. Time of day will be afternoon. It's a little bit on the cloudy side. We are going to play from the black tees, which are seven that Wait, are these backwards? Hold on. Uh, because it did say, well, it must be slightly off. Or rough, something like that. Anyway, it did say there in the description, 7,095. And TGC Tours Yard has a 7,095 7, 7, as well. But black tees are here saying 7,061 yards. So I didn't see any other version of the course. I hope I've got, so I assume I have the right one. Um, but we will be keeping it on pin set number one. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, yeah, so as I say, I have got another couple of courses lined up. Um, ready to go. Actually, I believe another one is, another one of them is from Picanto again um but just it's obviously it's summertime kids are off school uh some people take the time off work and then mix in the heat as well um it's just very noisy during the day and up into the evening up until until at least 10 p.m so it's just it's at the moment it's getting very difficult to record uh just a little bit too much noise in the background i will apologize also if you can hear a humming sound in the background i have the fan on because it is absolutely boiling in the house and i've got everything running here right in front of me now at the moment have to keep the windows closed just for the noise i've, I've said that a, a million times um about what uh the estate where i live can be like especially in the good weather but i uh, hope everybody's enjoying the good weather anyway even though we're all melting um so usual again uh anything that we do see of interest we'll try and take a look at just try to see that shadow yeah we have got a run on the fairway down there very calm winds at one mile per hour for now um and we are kicking things off with a par four which is 405 yards down 78 feet so we should get quite a lengthy drive what did i say the fairways are normal All right, a little fast. I did have a couple of warm-up rounds. I was actually late to uh, getting my TGC Tours rounds done uh, this week. Only getting them done now. It's just Wednesday. Uh, so I did warm up, but it was on pro swings. So I have to get a little bit of a feel for the master swing. Are we going to hold the fairway, or is it going to trundle its way into the first cut? Just about going to hold. A foot or two to spare. And it leaves us with 72 yards down 15 feet. So about... 67 um with the slope that we're on i think i just want to play uh, lob wedge sorry without getting overly complicated for loft and stuff all right a little bit slow but hopefully it shouldn't affect it too much a little bit to the right oh gets a roll we got a slope so first put for a birdie it's measuring 13 feet up two inches screen speeds are 178 certainly want to go around about the green line oh and i took the sledgehammer out on the first i'm gonna put that one back in the bag you see me now i'll take the feather out uh, the feather duster out on the uh, the downhills as i say just gotta get a feel for it so i'm lucky there just to walk away with a par but well, at least we didn't drop one on the opening hole. Uh, so I'll say, yes, par, actually, yes, uh, I never said it there a minute ago. This is a par 71 course, and it's in the Swiss team. And hole number two is another par four, 435 yards down 19 feet. Wind is picking up a little bit. Looks like 
fairways bank on both sides so hopefully we should be all right if i don't hit a half decent shot off the tee a little slow the wind should hold a straight should kick back left going by the, the slopes of the fairway but uh yeah as i say anyway uh, i hope everybody's enjoying the uh, the good weather and the heat now, i know uh, all you folks over in america australia and all the user used to the high heats um but I said, like, I mean, I, I, I enjoy the high heat, so I've, I've no problem with it. It's working in it that I hate. But uh, a lot of people just absolutely hate, like, I think it was 33 degrees is what we reached yesterday. And parts of England reaching 40, I think it was. And uh, a lot of people don't like it getting baked. But I'll say, I only don't like it when I have to work out in it, which is obviously every day. <laughs> Uh, right, 165 anyway is what we're left with, down 16, so about 160, I think we want to play the 151, bloody 8 iron, with it running downhill with that wind as well, slightly angled, there we go, that's a very tidy swing, we can keep that going, oh that did not turn, I think the wind changed. I didn't look at it right before I took the shot, just to double check. So we're gonna have a chip shot for the second, uh, for the second hole or third shot is what I meant to say. Uh, ten yards might be okay with the eight, uh, the eight yard. No, oh, that's pushed out to the right with the slope. Had the distance as well, so it's just gonna be a par par to start. Now, give me a look at the scorecard, which is what I meant to look at on the previous hole. So we've got two par threes and a single par five on the front nine. Well, the third hole is another par four, and it's 483 yards down 41 feet. And pretty generous landing area here, especially with the calm winds. Little fast. But uh, yeah, another reason as well, apart from the heat and I say just the, the all the background noise outside um, due to obviously the good weather and stuff, everybody being out. Uh, another reason why I'm getting a little bit lazy on the recording again is I'm stuck into uh, another show now on Netflix at the moment. I'll uh, talk about that now in a second. Well guarded bunker here. We've got one, two, three, four, uh, six bunkers surrounding this green. Well, one single front bunker. Um... Right, 180. I think we'll play 170. Slope of the green, pretty flat running up to the hole. I think actually I'll just aim dead at the hole. I should push a little bit right and the wind should bring it back. Got the perfect, pushed it a little bit though, but the wind is bringing it back. I don't know if anybody saw my par 4 ace. Um, on a oh, bloody hell what was the what was the sierra trails was it sierra trails by uh Jordy boy 85 um yeah a few days ago it's amazing. i can get them off camera but i cannot get them on camera if i think of it actually what i'll do is uh, as we hit the turn on uh after hole nine i'll just I'll cut that clip in um so if you didn't see it stick around for that but right now we've got a 12 footer up two inches for the birdie and it's good all right first one on the scorecard takes us to one under par another par four coming up for hole number four and it measures 365 yards up 39 feet and nice little waterfall coming into the lake here very narrow fairway um with that now thankfully yeah the fairway is heavily banking left to right so it should hopefully be okay There we go, got the perfect. Two mile per hour wind won't affect it that much. And nicely down on the, the sort of flash area. Hopefully it's not too much below the fee. Pretty level. We're left with 78 yards, up 26. So we'll add about 9 onto that's going to be 87. Um, I think I want to go just with gap wedge. A little bit of D loft on it, but we'll put some spin as well. That's a slope. 
Oh, it's a red slope. Felt that one, Tom. Yeah, even when I was doing the warm up rounds actually on pro swing, I was having a lot of trouble with um with my tempo. Thumb just does not want to push forward lately, and I'm just I'm not playing regularly enough just to really properly get into uh, a rhythm with it. So hopefully things don't go to go to hell with the with the tempo on the master swing. Right, twenty six feet up one. Um, let's say we give this about one and a half. We'll just get it close. All right, good put. It's turned pretty good. Yes, there we go. But was that a bird for a birdie again? It was. All right, back to back birdies, two under par. First of the par three is coming up now for number five. Uh, it wants to give us a, a little replay of that one, but wasn't overly anything overly special. I'll we'll just skip that. But uh, yeah, so the show that I'm watching is actually out a good few years. It's actually six seasons of it, and I've had it for a long time. Actually, in the in the list of things to watch, it's actually it's how to get away with murder. It's very good if you've never watched it. Uh, I do recommend checking it out. Very very good show really keeps you guessing like there's just plot twists left right and center and it, it really makes you want to um get on to uh, another episode and i'm sacrificing sleep sometimes and i know i'm up at the crack of dawn but uh yeah i like this little pond here i should just looking at that while i'm working, uh talking away and then the dead tree at the back of it very nicely done lily pads and stuff uh now on my look i will oh there's another little one over here hidden i didn't see that so i'll keep an eye out for that <laughs> two bodies of water me on a par three, there's a good chance I could potentially still be in it, even though I will be taking a club that should carry. 185 up 10, so about 188. Going to pull it back to... We have got a little bit of a backstop there. So I'm wondering maybe just a tiny little bit of loft and spin. Oh, we got the perfect. How's that going to affect it? But uh, yeah, I was saying I am uh, sacrificing sleep. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to go in for a second. Um, as I said, I'd be up to crack of dawn, like yeah, on average between uh, around about half four in the morning, and uh, not going to bed until about one o'clock in the morning because I'm sitting up watching this show. I'm about halfway through season three now at the moment. But uh, anyway, I'm at the round. Birdie put from ten feet. That looked very close to going in for hole in one but i will happily take a birdie on a par three and that's three in a row first of the par fives and the only par five for the front nine coming up i put my teeth back in and talk in english so it's measuring 620 yards down 20 feet not going to get there in two um really going to kick hard to the right and i see a massive waterfall off in the background might be able to get a little bit of a closer look once we get up up towards the green here. Um, unless the course does cross pads with it. We shall find out. But uh, yeah, I think just let it go down to the right because it is banking all the way. I'm not going to get there in two anyway. A little bit slow, so we pushed it down that way. It's hard to tell from here, just the draw distance. Is that like some sort of wall or something at the top? I can just see a grey, grey at the top of the waterfalls. See if we can get a closer look up to the driver. Not really, especially with the camera angles here. I can see something all right. But uh, we'll try and have a, a better look. Thing is now, can I get up and... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I was saying, not going to get there in two, 300 yards. Fairway looks to be sloping downwards. Now, if we can get up and over these bushes with the driver... We may so it'll probably have a lengthy putt, but may still get on here in two. Right, we're up and over. Hit a fast. Yeah, we're on. I saw the yardage. I didn't think we were going to get there, but how's it going to run out now on the green is another question. It'll be a lengthy one. It's got to be in the region of about 30, 35 feet. But it is an eagle putt. 42 feet up one not really too much in the break so i think we'll go about about one and a half just to allow for it to turn don't know if i think i've under hit that nope i haven't 
Just a little bit of an overhit, didn't turn enough, but good effort from 42 feet. But again, I'll happily take a birdie. And that will take us four birdies in a row to four under par. Okay, so hole number seven. Okay, we can see now. Oh, is it kind of done like um like a dam? Kind of uh, kind of thing. Obviously, we can see it. It is a, it is a, indeed a building, but just the way that it is there, it's like a, a dam. And it looks like we have another bit of one here, up ahead of us. I'll get another look at that on the approach shot. So hold seven anyway, par four, four hundred and twenty nine yards up, thirty three feet, and quite a crowd. To our right. Safely into the fairway. 288 yards off the tee. Going to leave us with 160 up 23. So about 168 in. We'll play the 170 just to allow with that wind. And let's see. And we have another big waterfall off over here. So it looks like kind of, well, yeah, no, I wouldn't really say that's a dam effect. But the other one certainly is anyway down there. But um, very nice. And we'll see, hopefully we can see where, maybe we work our way up that way. See where the waterfall is originating from. Um, right, 160, 168, I'm saying 170 is what we'll play in. 've got the perfect pulled it slightly although it is holding pretty straight oh <laughs> cruised it right past again a little bit too much pace I'll say it would have just bounced the pin and come back if it was on target but it's left us 18 feet down two inches for the birdie and I think I just want to worm cam this one mm, round about green line Again, just get it close. Ah, it's turning too much. Ah, one and a half going at that pace, but it was good weight on it. So, little birdie, or yeah, birdie streak has ended. Another par for the par four. Final par three at the front nine coming up for hole number eight. And it's measuring 158 yards up 10 feet. So about 161. What is my laptop doing? It's freaking out at the moment. I have no idea. We'll just leave that be. Um, see if I can fix it as we're playing. Okay, little body of water to carry again. But hopefully it shouldn't be an issue. Two of the smallest little bunkers. That you can see. Probably the smallest on the course. Oh, hold on a second now. We've got the fairway runoff. Very steep runoff. down. Okay. Why has the... Yeah, laptop is completely freaking out. I don't know what it's doing. There we go. Let's so let that boot back up. But uh, yeah, similar to uh, Lucky's course. Uh, Golden Shadow Lodge. That's the one. Uh, fairway runoffs down into the water. If there's a way to do it, I'll find it. <laughs> right, 161 is what I said. So, 7 iron. Mm. Yeah, we'll play a little bit of loft on it. And I've got a 2 mile per hour headwind. All right, got a perfect. So we should be safe over the water. As I say, where there is a wi where there's a wheel, there's a way. Turned back in towards the hole. What is the laptop doing? All right, just give me two seconds while I just log this back in. For whatever reason, it shut itself off completely there. Okay, so four feet for the bird. And I almost missed it. <laughs> Just about gave it enough to get there. Alright, five under through eight. Let's see if we can finish off the front nine with another birdie. So I'm not playing too bad at the moment. Considering it's been a good few days since uh, last played and only warmed up on pro swing. But uh, to finish off the front nine anyway, power four, four, 374 yards down two feet. Five mile per hour wind in the face. Got a nice winded little stream coming to a halt just before the green. And it looks like it's feeding in from the lake over there. And a massive bunker all the way. Is that majority of the way down the fairway on the left? Two in the fairway. And a single, no. 
two or oh, three bunkers guarding the green. But as I say, narrow water one side and sand the other. I prefer the sand. We were heading that way anyway, but fast. Under hit it as well, 94%. But we're dry and in the short stuff, that's the main thing. Okay, and it's left us with 94 yards up 6 feet, so about 96. Want to add about 6 onto that, just with the wind. So 96, 102. Little bit of loft and spin. We've got a back pin as well. A little bit of loft and spin on the sand wedge. Hopefully should be okay. Oh, it's a little slow. Let's push it right. Don't come back too far. Ah, could have been better. Well, still not too bad. I can just about make out the beads with the uh, the way the light is shining. A little bit breaking both ways. So I think we'll just keep it straight at the pin. 17 feet up two. Turn back. Good choice. And finish off the front nine with another birdie. So I'm just going to cut it here and I'll show you that hole in one on the par four. Alright, so hole number 10, kick off the back nine, par 4. And uh, yeah, so that was it. If you did miss it on Twitter, I think I shared it on Facebook as well. That was uh, that was my hole in one on the par 4. As I say, I can get them off camera, but I just cannot seem to get them on camera. Uh, par 4 of all things as well. I'm trying to get it on my par 3s. But uh, yeah, I'll say anyway, par 4, for number 10. It's 439 yards down 60 feet, so I should be able to get a good lengthy drive off here. Just need to be careful actually with the way the fairway is going to kick it to the left here. We could potentially end up behind that tree. We'll see what happens. Solid tee shot. Just what way is it going to kick is the question. It holds the fairway. Right, holds the fairway. And nothing blocking us. To be sort of central towards the back pin 116 yards down 30 feet so about 106 that will be the sand wedge i think with that wind we'll just put spin on it oh we're going to end the other way fast felt that one that was really coming left i should have uh, aimed out to the right like i initially was but it's on the green so there is still a chance we can get the birdie. And it's from 31 feet. Not really, again, too much in the break. I think we'll go about one and a half, again, just to allow for the turn. Don't know if I underhit that or overhit it. I think, yeah, I've underhit it. Badly underhit it. Left it shy by six feet. So just a par to uh, start things off on the back nine. Par three coming up for hole number 11. Lengthy one, got a wood in the hands. 230 yards up four feet, so about 231. Um, I, oh, here we go, here's trouble. <laughs> Little body of water, very nicely done actually, just to kind of wrap around the front on the right side of the green. Single bunker to the left. Uh, so I want to say 231, 227, maybe 228. Right, we're going to have to play, obviously, four aren't too short. Going to have to play the uh, the five wood. I do want to take a little bit of yardage off it. So only option I really have, I'm not doing a partial because I don't use the, uh, the haptic feedback, is to get dangerous and put a heavy draw on it. 
I can hear the splash already. No, I got a perfect, but I did under hit it. Oh, stay up, stay up, stay up. <laughs> Very lucky there. That's dodging a bullet, but that is running out quite nice as well. I like that little bit of water there. Just wrapping around, to, wrapping around the side, the front of the grain. Which we very nearly splashed into. But we do have a birdie opportunity for 14 feet. Considerable break right at the start. So I'm actually going to pop it out here. I'm expecting it to turn quite aggressive. Ah, just a little bit more. <laughs> Green line would have done it. But I, considering how things almost went, I'm happy with the par. So par par to start the back nine, par four coming up for number 12. And it measures 416 yards down 73 feet. Looks like we've got a little bumpy fairway downhill all the way. Plenty of fairway bunkers, no bunkers guarding the green. Wind has completely died down. 2-0 and it's a solid tee shot now I'll say it's a little bit lumpy bumpy by the looks of it so I don't know what way this is going to go now oh, it's going to stick nicely in the fairway not really the way you'd see it like on a Lynx course or something like that where it could just go anywhere potentially uh, it's left us anyway 84 yards down one foot so what to do I'm going to play it a little bit over here what way is the ball yeah, I think we'll play it over here, just uh, a little bit of spin. Just want to keep it away from that slope fast, we'll do that. And at least we're up on the same tier as the hole, but the hole is pretty close to it, so don't over here. Or we're going to be in a world of trouble. No, we should be okay. It's a, it's a few yards past. And there's not much break in this at all. Did I under hit that again? Just about <laughs> gave it enough. So first birdie of the back nine, take us to seven under par. First par five of the back nine now coming up for number 13. And it measures 550 yards up five feet. So potentially reachable. Hello, waterfall. Very nice. It's just a shame I cannot get the uh, the camera up any higher. Unless I'm tilting it, but that is very, very nice. And I wasn't paying attention, actually. I didn't have a look. I don't know what the clubhouse looks like. I don't know. I doubt that's the clubhouse up there. If we're only at hole, uh, hole 13. But could be. Depends on the route of the course. But that is very nicely done. Making use again. It's become a very popular um, a very popular thing now to use the uh, the dead trees for the rock effect. But uh, yeah, like that. What I don't like is the fact that... <laughs> Oh, I could potentially hit a, a red fast here and end up paying a visit to the water here now. So what I say, yeah, par 5, 550 yards. Potentially reachable, slight fast, we should be alright though. I did see that the fairway is going to kick it hard to the right, so could still end up in the rough. Not plenty of room to work with. Oh, I didn't actually, I didn't see the... How aggressive the slope was there on this side of the fairway. But it has left us with a little bit of a carryover water. And severe slopes in. So oh, 252, 235. Uh, should get there. Uh, should run down nicely as well. It's just the only thing now is... I don't know what the hitbox on this tree is going to be like. I hope we don't hit it. We'll soon find out. Nope, didn't hit it. Hit a slow, so at least we're going to wipe in the water. We have comfortably carried it, actually. Have we got enough to make that slope and run downhill, though? I don't think so. Wait, hold on. No, we're getting there. Oh, that's turned right towards the hole. Oh, just not enough. <laughs> not enough for the albatross. But lengthy put. Well, mid-range put for Eagle. Missed one earlier. Let's see if we can get one now. Very little break. Just a bit at the start mainly. 22 feet down 5. 
Oh, I think I got it. Get in. I will take that. Beautiful outcome. Eagle on the 13 to take us to 9 under par. So we're going to hit double digits. I think it's been a little while since I hit uh, double digits on a playthrough. Especially since getting back on Master Swing. I, I never really keep track of the scores. But anyway, hole 14 is par 4. 357 yards up 47 feet. And bunkerless fairway. And looks to be just two small bunkers. Somewhat guarding this green here. Little bit on the slow side. Under hit it again. But we are safe in the fairway. And that should leave us... Looks like maybe just a bit of a pitch shot. Potentially lob wedge. Pitch shot it'll be 78 yards up 20 feet. So around a 21 feet. Call it add on 7. It'll be 85 um, yeah, I don't really want to start doing loft with the pitch and wedge. Well, oh, a little bit of loft, a bit of spin. A little slow and under hit it again. Might as well have just played the uh, the gap wedge at that rate. But we're on. Again, another mid-range putt for birdie. 17 feet. And I've under hit it again. Oh, another percent on that. 34% I'd say what I got in that. I got 33. But we'll tap in for the par. Keep us at 9 under for now. Okay, so hole number 15 is another par 4. And it measures 411 yards down. 32 feet. Certainly not a bunkerless fairway here, and it's kind of bottlenecking around about the landing area. Put a little bit of draw on, I think. Quite a crowd on the course, and that's not really turning. We've only got a one mile per hour wind. But are we going to hold the fairway, or are we going to go into the rough? No, we're going to hold it, sloping a bit. So I left with 111 yards, up 5, 113, definitely want a normal shot, do not do uh, pitch shots from outside 100 yards. Um, so I want to say 113, so I think a little bit of loft, and spin on the gap wedge, maybe back a little bit on the loft. Got the perfect, slightly pushed it, and it did not go left like I thought it would off the slope. The ball being above the feet, but... Not bad, decent approach. So 11 feet for the birdie. Again, not much break. Let's give it enough to get there this time. And we do, so that'll take us to 10 under par. As we now move on to the final par 5 of the course for hole number 16. And it measures 516 yards up 94 feet, so potentially reachable. All depends on what we've got ahead of us. And it looks potential. We might be able to run it up there, alright. Um, got a little bit of a tailwind to help us slightly. And it's a solid tee shot. Don't know if we're going to get over 300 yards here. No, we're not. 285 off the tee, leaves us 232, up 54, so what's that going to be, 18, maybe 240, 250, so we'll play, now 217 ain't getting there, that is a massive, massive slope at the front of the green, so yeah, we'll play 3-wood uh, and see if that can get up there, don't know, I have my doubts, oh, slight slow, no, I don't think that's going to get up. There is another slope. It's going to right, running off down to the right now, by the looks of it. Will it hold the green? I'd prefer if it didn't, because it looks like quite an uphill put is what that would be. Come on, keep going. Trundle your way. I'll t happily take a little splash shot up onto, the, up onto the green. We've got an eagle, so I'm happy, but you never know. Could easily get it in. 23 yards up one, so about 24 uh, sand wedge splash should be nice. A little bit of loft and spin on it. To at least sit it quick anyway. 
a little bit fast. Oh, badly under hit it though, 93%. Although it got its distance. So, three foot tap in for another birdie. Takes us to, what are we at now? 11 under par. Final par three of the course coming up. And then wrap things up with a par four. So, number 17 measures 215 yards down nine feet. And it looks like from here already we are carrying over water. We've got the stream running down, water to the left. So, but at least the pin is fairly central towards the, at the back of the green. Plenty of room to run up. Um, so about 212. Ooh. We're going to go for it again. Heavy draw. Just aim a little bit over to allow for the turn. Very nicely played. How did I go too far out? Oh, I went way too far out. I didn't really take much off. I don't think I pushed it all the way up for the draw though. But still, running up here with a chip shot. Is that running downhill? It is slightly one foot down. So, I'm about here maybe. Pull it back a yard or so, see if I can run down. Slight fast. Go on. Ah, just turned a little too much. A little bit shy as well. But not to worry again. I'll tap in, take the par, as I say. I was happy to get a par on the par threes. Stay at 11 under par. Can we make it 12 under par to finish off the round? So, number 18, say par four, 429 yards down 17 feet. And over here should be fine. Nice, massive lake. So, I think actually, wait, what have we got here? Pull back a little bit. Okay, so we've got a feeding in. We kind of got a dual lake going on here. Big massive lake here. And we've got a waterfall. I've got water feeding in from there. I've got and feeding in from over there. And of course, I'll say, yeah, I, I, I don't have free cam, so we'll just we get as look as best as we can. So that looks like another little dam area there. Uh, I don't think it's the same one that we saw earlier. And then coming over here. Feeding down into this massive lake, I think. Unless I get my directions completely mixed up. I'm usually good at my sense of direction, but not today. Um, but massive bodies of water. And we should be okay to get over them, though. Three mile per hour wind. A little bit on the fast side. Almost a red fast. Should be okay, though. All right, let's see how our final approach shot goes from 172 yards up three feet. So about 173 is what it's going to play. Call it 170-ish with the wind. And yes, give me a look. Give me a look around. Where's the clubhouse? Ah, here's the clubhouse over here. So yeah, that definitely was not the clubhouse that we saw earlier. And it looks like we have a driving range as well. Bit of a driving range. You can practice uh, your approach shots from varying distances as well. Nicely done, and nice little clubhouse as well. Okay, and what the hell was that? I don't know what that was, I heard something banging. Um, one of the cats messing probably in the background. Right, final approach shot, I don't know why it has me on the 9 iron. Must be the waypoints, but uh, small little green, bunkerless. But uh, kind of running off both sides, so I want to play it central-ish. 173 is what I said it would play. I'll play the 167 iron. Should give it a little bit of a run. Oh, it's a slow. Hopefully it's close enough we can get a, a chip shot. Oh, splash out of the rough. Uh, so, 18 yards... Yeah, I certainly don't want uh, a chip shot from there. 82% so this should be alright. Put a little bit of spin on it just to be safe. So unfortunately it's not going to be a 12 under. Or is it? No, <laughs> hasn't got the pace. A little bit faster, that might have actually threatened it. But we are just going to two foot tap in for the par and stay at 11 under par. 
for the round. Absolutely great course there again from Picanto. Uh, safe. No stranger to being featured here on the channel and uh, really enjoyed every single course I played. Truly really enjoyed that one as well. And uh, some very nice work done there. Some very good, uh, very nice holes and the water uh, water features and stuff. Yeah, really enjoyed that. So if you haven't played it, as I say, there is in the region of around about 300 players already. Um, so if you have not played it, do get out there and play it. Just looking there, 100% fairway and regulation. Not bad. It's not often I get that. But uh, yeah, so yeah, definitely get out there and play it. This has been the Trossix GC DVD by Picanto 2014. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to drop it a like. And if you have not done so already or you're just brand new to the channel, do consider subscribing. I will talk to you all in the next one. Until then, take care. Have yourselves a good one and bye for now.